What up, NFT fam? Let's see what the news is today. Elon Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion. That happened today. Um, if you don't know what a coda is, this is a coda. Thankfully, Callie Nolans always helps me, so thank you. So in the Board Ape Yacht Club other side world, there's going to be these little creatures, and I think they're minting at some point, but I don't know when. Um, this is a recording I was listening to if you want to check it out. Advertising. Little Lemons is down to 0 0.07. So I got in initially at 0 0.09. They went up to like 0.5 and came back down. So I'm thinking about them. I added them to my watch list. This is about stuff going on on the other side. They're only using Ape token, which you can buy in your MetaMask. You just have to swap it for anything else. KYC, they KYC'd everybody. This happened weeks ago and I didn't even realize it. So I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Dutch auction and Ape will be earned. Ape earned will be locked for a year. This is a great video from Roxiano about how to start a crypto farm in the Avogachi world. So check out the video. It's only two minutes long and it fully explains everything. It's really great. I saw this today about crypto skulls and I was like, wait a second. It did crypto skulls launch a secondary project. So let's look at crypto skulls. Crypto skulls is an OG project that was recently discovered, kind of like pumped up to like three, four ETH. Um, and for some weird reason, it's now at 0.66. So I'm going to add this to my watch list as well. And then if you go to um, Crypto Skulls, uh, you can see Demonic Skulls is the secondary project, which is only 0 0.08. So those are two points of entry for this uh, OG project. Um, I'm surprised that the price fell so much for Crypto Skulls. I really don't know what happened. So if you KYC'd on the other side website, which looked like, board, no, I think I need to type in Bored Ape. Yacht Club. Today, by the way, they got scammed, hacked. They got hacked on their official Instagram and there was a mint page and people that quote unquote minted lost a bunch of their apes. So be careful of that. Um, this is it. This is the other side meta. So I'm following them too. This is the official page. And it's happening on this website, but you have to KYC on this website and it looks like this. You have to connect your MetaMask, but unless it looks like this, I got not approved because I didn't KYC because I didn't realize what was happening. And I was like, was this only for apes? It was for regular people. All you had to do was KYC, which is basically tell all your information, your name, your social, etc., cetera, um, and then basically load up on ApeCoin. That's kind of the whole alpha behind everything. I think they're selling land. Um, that's all I know. And those codas, which I think are coming later on, which are the little creatures. So there may be another point of entry into the Board Ape Yacht Club world with Ape Token. Ape Token was now at $19 today. I remember when it was 7 So I've got my eyes on all these projects um, and all this news. So this is my project from on Foundation. It's very expensive to mint on foundation. I had this at 0.5. I lowered it. I took 50% off. So I'm going to see if I can sell this one and then I'll mint another one on foundation so I could build a foundation collection as well. All like swirls. Um, this happened to me today. I bought a, I bought a mem, by the way. Mem is this one. Mems. Mems Voyage 1. I bought one of these today for 0.1. It had a straw in its head, which is kind of like a rare feature. So I was happy about my buy. Um, it looks very cute. I've talked about liking their shoes in my other videos. So I purchased one today. However, when I pressed like buy it now, I did it twice and it looked like this. I had like a pending sign, but then every time I tried to press cancel, it kept saying insufficient funds. So, and when you reach out to MetaMask and MetaMask support, they basically are like, oh, go to the help page. There's support there. There really isn't. So if you're ever stuck in a situation like this, um, see how it's minus 300, but I only had 137 and it says insufficient funds and you can't cancel it when you try to cancel. All you have to do is send to your MetaMask the amount 
So I sent like $330 and then I was able to cancel. Otherwise it was stuck. So if anyone else goes through this problem and you don't want to do multiple transactions if you have something stuck. So I was actually trying to lower the price of my foundation piece. That's why it says Q2 because there were two things that were stuck. So when, once you have one thing that's stuck, the other thing gets stuck. So fix the first thing that's stuck. And if you ever come across this type of situation now, you know how to deal with it. You just have to fund your account. It didn't take the money out. You know, like it, I didn't lose the $300. It just, I was able to cancel the transaction. So this was something I retweeted. So this was something from the MEMS Voyage 1 Part 2. Part 2 is going to have this. I don't know what it is. It looks like they're out in space or something. The story continues. I just really like his feet and his shoes and his little hands and the little hands that put him places. I just love it. I saw this really pretty flowers growing, a um, bunch of retweets. So when is the reveal for Gary? Uh, tomorrow afternoon. So April 26th afternoon. I'm really wrestling with should I sell my V Friends Series 2? Um, I was talking today with Agastya Tea and... Uh, you know, we're like, what should we do? And it's just really like difficult. Like when you've lost a lot, you're like, I don't know what to do. So I paid a thousand, right? And I could sell it and have 3,400. But then I'm like, will I ever have a chance to be in, in um, V Friends Series 2 again? Who knows, right? It's kind of scary. So I'm going to hold and see what I get and see what happens to the floor. And I'm going to wait, I'm going to risk it. But uh, you know, the, the, the general thing that happens in the NFT world is that projects that get hyped up, once they reveal, the floor drops. That is across the board every single project. But since this is a Gary Vee project, will it be different? I don't know. My assumption is the floor will drop, even if it's partially because of the reveal, because people are going to get stuff that they don't want. They're going to want to sell it so they could get stuff that they do want. So the plan for this one was to be a long-term hold. So I don't really want to be influenced by the money, but making a $2,400 um, profit potentially in a couple of days is kind of crazy, right? I've never had those types of gains in trading, and it seems to happen often here in NFTs. This is my Patreon page. If you want to check it out and support, it'll also be in the description of this video. Um... Those are retweets. So this is an upcoming space with 1.37 p.m. Sneaker News announcing a membership card NFT. It's tomorrow at 2 p.m. Make sure you set a reminder and it's they're going to have a PO app with it. See, attendees get a PO app. So if you want another PO app, there's that. The public mint is live for allow list members, which is basically the raffle winners, which is basically the public sale for V Friends 2. This is the only official mint page. So make sure you're going to be friends and you know the exact you know website that you're supposed to be on and you're minting. You only have 24 hours if you won the raffle. So make sure you do that. These are the spectaculars. So the spectaculars are being auctioned off right now. They are on auction and the prices are pretty steep. I mean, nothing is under one ETH pretty much. So let's see. Oh, I think there's like 250 of them, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see what the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> bottom of the barrel is a respectful raccoon coming in at 105 ETH, but it's pretty much this whole row, 105 ETH. But they're very pretty, uh, so they look nice. Um, this is kind of like the newest... Uh, the newest addition to V Friends 2. Because if you go to V Friends 2, they're all scattered throughout. So it's part of the same collection of V Friends 2. Uh, so there's that. So 235 Emerald auctions are now live. Every token runs for 55 hours, standard time auction. You will need WETH to make bids. So I made a mistake. I transferred ETH to Polygon thinking it was WETH and that's incorrect. You do it in your MetaMask, you transfer your Ethereum to WETH. You don't switch networks. OpenSea works on WETH on the Ethereum network. So there's that. Um, Alpha, 
Uh, this is coming out in two days, the New Mutant Annual comic on Vivi. I missed the comic today. This is Elon buying my advertising, so I missed the uh, Vivi, but it's okay. This is Pale Purple, and this is You Bring Us Down. You know, some people, you get too close to them, and they just they suck the energy out of a room. <laughs> um, I also was listening to this, too. So Logan Paul has a collection. He had a Pokemon look like a Pokemon look-alike collection, which the floor price is really low compared to the other ones. But it's the type of thing where there's multiples. So um and this collection gets one percent if you own this collection, I think all of them, I'm not a hundred percent sure. But listen to that thing and you know you can figure it out for yourself too. I was listening to this. So I think the new collection is going to fund 1%. 1% of the new collection is going to go to holders of this collection, the Pokemon collection. But I'm not sure if it's maybe only for the gold. Like, I don't know. But this is a pretty low price if you want to get into the Logan Paul world. So the newest one that he's doing, he's doing only 99 originals. I think it, is it here? I don't think it's up yet. So when I saw that there's like not 99, I started searching and I typed in Logan Paul and I saw creator of originals Dow and I saw 99 original Polaroids. Basically he took a picture from like a bunch of countries that he went to and they're all one of one Polaroids. Um, and this is the website and it, all this info is like, you know, if you're interested in researching it, this is all the stuff to research. But it's 99 NFTs. It's going to be part of a DAO. One original equals one vote. It's going to be an auction. Um, funding creative projects by fellow DAO members. So it's, you know, and there's all this stuff to research. So that's what I learned today from that 1.37 p.m. space. Um, so I think the Pokemon card is the cheapest if you want to enter the Logan Paul world. Um, 13 million in Bored Apes was stolen in that Instagram hack. So Hash always knows what's going on. I was pretty surprised about that. So I wanted to retweet it. This was a, uh, their official tweet. There is no mint going on today. It looks like Board API Club Instagram was hacked. Do not mint anything. Click links or link your wallet to anything. So be really careful. Careful. Wait till you see stuff on Twitter. Even, you know, even I mean, can Twitter get hacked? I don't even know. But yeah, obviously it can. But um, yeah, it was very sad. People lost their apes, a lot of money. So just be careful. Uh, this was kind of funny. Dead fellows, but it's dead fellas. Uh, it was a news article, Dead Fellows NFT, so people were laughing about that. Um, Emerald Auction. So Agassiatea, you know, told me that OpenSea bought Gem today. Um, and so I was like, what? What's going on? So Gem was another marketplace. But then Genie is another marketplace, and it looks like they might be dropping tokens I was kind of intrigued too by the fact that they're hiring. I want to kind of explore that. Genie is where everyone I see go to buy like four or five different like NFTs of the same kind. It's they save 40% on gas fees. So I've never used it, but I'm interested in it. Uh, so I need to check out Genie and learn about it. And I'm wondering like what this token means. Like, are they going to do an airdrop? Like, who knows? I don't know. Uh, what else? Let's see. Let's see. I didn't win the raffle. And I'm th and I was thinking like, you know, I thought like, was there some kind of thought behind like, if you already had a V friends too, like you couldn't get a second one. And, you know, going making the public sale from people that were in the discord as members, I thought that was really smart too. like, getting basically getting away from people that are flippers that are not part of the community that are robots. These are supposed to be all real um, NFT people, part of the same community. And it was a, a raffle allow list. I really like that. I've been talking about how much I like when projects do that because gas doesn't become insanity and it doesn't make you feel like shit. You're like, okay, I didn't get the raffle fine versus like the bots taking all the NFTs, you know, and then just dumping it. 
So I like how it was done. Hats off to you, Gary B. <laughs> Um, this was a video about how to claim your mutant serum if you have a pudgy ape or if you want to mint a pudgy, a mutant pudgy. I learned about it in the Discord and so I wanted to make a video so people wouldn't get lost because I was lost. So this is kind of the breakdown of what's going on at VFriends. So right now the allow list is going till tomorrow afternoon along with the emeralds and then the reveal is going to happen. Waitlist minting period is going to be April 26th after 1 p.m. Then the new characters are going to be raffled. That's the 27th. That's going to involve book game tokens. So I wonder how much book game tokens are going to fluctuate based off of that because the price right now for them is in the 20s. So I wonder what's going to happen. And then new character spectacular day raffle is going to be May 12th. So mark your calendars for May 12th. That's going to be a cool um, raffle as well. I love raffles. And it looks like that's it for now. So I'm just looking through if I missed anything. Yeah, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And uh, my Patreon's in the description if you want to support me as a little old artist. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!